What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness and today I want to talk to you guys about lateral footwork. Now lateral footwork in my opinion is very neglected in most, uh, in most, tri in most clubs uh, where they train stand-up whether it be boxing, kickboxing or Muay Thai okay and if you if you ever seen any of Lomachenko, Vasily Lomachenko's uh, fights or the way he trains, you'll notice that he, he gets, he's very good at getting angles on his opponents. And one of the reasons for that is that he's able to move laterally, meaning side to side. So the way I, I feel about it is that most gyms, right, they don't, uh, they don't focus enough on the angles. And I think the coaches and all that, they, they do, you know, explain to them how to get the angles and stuff. But then after that, what happens is that, you know, when people start punching, they usually get excited and they get stuck in one spot and they just want to duke it out, you know? And if you look at how Lomachenko fights, well, he doesn't hit that hard to begin with. Well, of course it's hard, right? Uh, compared to your average Joe. But I mean, he's not, he's not throwing haymakers with every punch. He's tapping, tapping. Tapping, 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 which allows him afterwards to move rapidly, you know, and it's all in the footwork. So I just got want to show you guys what I mean. And to be honest, moving back, it's easy. Moving forward, it's very easy also. And the problem with moving uh, back when someone is, somebody's punching you, okay, is that you can't cover as much distance going back as fast as he can come forward. He could come forward and cover a lot more distance than you can, okay, in a shorter amount of time. Because, you know, you're, you're, you're a little bit clumsier when you're moving back. You're not as, uh, you're not as explosive. The, the, yeah, you're at a mechanical disadvantage uh, compared to someone who's moving forward on you. So that's why the importance of sidestepping, all right? So the way, I, the way I see it is that you should really put a big focus, okay, on sidestepping. So the way you go about that is that, let's say you take your position here and simply, you know, to, to be in a good fighting stance, you have to be on the ball of your foot, right? And it ha your weight has to be transferring forward, backward, forward, backward, you know, slightly. So now if you want, you have to practice sidestepping like this. So I'm here, okay, I'm on the, on the, I'm on the, 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 the ball of my foot and here you go. So when I want to move, let's say right, okay, as soon as the weight goes back here on my back foot, okay, that's when I step off to the side. So once again, I'm here, boom, boom, boom. When I go back, step back, step to the side. Now it's the same thing if I wanted to go uh, step to my left. So backward forward backward forward you know backward forward backward forward and once I go once I go to once the weight is on the front foot I can push back boom to the side just wait for the camera there so from here side from here side so if, if somebody's coming in sometimes boom 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 you can move back a little bit and then as soon as you you feel it move to the side so we're here, boom, and then I'm stepping back. I got the weight right in the back of my leg, boom, to the side. And of course, cover your head, you know, bob and weave. Well, I prefer slipping, weaving just a little bit, not too much because you don't want to get head kicked, right? So really, to the side. So let's say a punch comes in, a hook or a straight, you could duck under it, move to the side, bang, come in, hook, move to the side, bang. Okay, so really, and another way to go to the side is to pivot. It's slightly different. Like if you just stand there and you pivot, well, I mean, you know, it's not going to be as effective if, let's say, you move back, take a little step, pivot. Okay, move back. I wouldn't pivot off the back leg, though, because I find that it takes too long of a circle. But if I wanted to really move to my left, boom, really just push. So I have that option to pivot if my front leg is here so I can move back. So that helps me to go to the side. Or what you could do is you could switch your, your, your foot, okay, your, your, the foot that's in front before you pivot. So let's say I want to pivot on my, on my back leg. So what I would do 
is, let's say I'm moving around. Oh, you see that little step? Like that, and then pivot. So the pivoting always is done on, on the front leg, okay? So you have to make it so that you move this leg back, put this leg forward, and then from there, you pivot. But keep in mind, the way you practice it, you have to visualize your opponent coming. And in my opinion, let's say he comes, boom, 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 boom. You know, if you want to go, want to go this way, take a little step, pivot. If not, boom, 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 okay? And you gotta practice this while you're punching too. Let's say you're punching, one, two, three, boom, move. One, two, boom. One, two, boom. Hop, boom. All right, so that's it for this video, guys. Uh, I hope that I, I hope that got. Uh, <laughs> I hope that helps. So like, comment, subscribe, and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.